All right, uh, let's look at some waveforms. I'll put them up here in the uh, corner here. And uh, we will start with um, a square wave. There we go, there's a square wave. And we can change the pulse width modulation. We can make it narrow, we can make it fat. So that's what uh, that's what this thing is doing here. All right, we can do sawtooth waves. That's what they look like. Let's get my scope triggering a little bit better here. I don't know why it's not triggering right. Let's turn that off there. All right, we can have um, now the trick for modulation is we will modulate the frequency. Okay, so this is a voltage control oscillator. The voltage is coming from whichever key I press it. It it outputs a different voltage, and that creates a different. Uh, a different tone depending on where I have it set and then I'm adding on adding on or subtracting voltages from there all right now we can input uh, voltages uh, from modulation so we can take it from the LFO which is down here and so we're sending a triangle wave and so we're, we're changing the frequency higher than low and then higher than low Okay, so that's what that's doing. If I modulate it with a square wave, we get two tones. Uh, so I think that makes sense. Okay. So, triangle. All right. And we can go to pulse. And um, we can change the pulse. Remember we did change the pulse with those the things here. We can modulate it with uh, the VCO. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, now let's talk about the filter. Okay, let's uh, turn, off, turn off modulation and we have just a square wave. Now this is a low pass filter. What do you do? What happens when you low pass filter a square wave? Well, you start removing harmonics. And as you remove the harmonics, it gets closer and closer and closer until you've removed all the harmonics, it gets to be a sine wave. And there we go, we're turning it kind of into a sine wave. Now we've removed all the harmonics. And then uh, we finally got too low and it can't hear it any longer, okay? So that's what the low frequency, low, low, pass filter does. We can do that with a saw wave. You can see how it rounds off the high frequency. This scope would be triggering better. What's wrong with it here? Uh, rising, rising, hold off. I don't know what I changed the hold off to. Something longer. There we go. That works better. Okay. There we go, we're rolling it off. Okay, so the other thing the filter has, let's go back to, oh, saw, saw wave is okay. We'll add a little bit of roll off here, but now we can introduce a positive feedback. And you can see that it starts, it starts to ring. We're adding a ring to it, because we're adding positive feedback. That's what the uh, resonator does. Interesting, huh? Okay, and then we can look at, uh, so let's turn this off, we'll turn this off, turn that off. Okay, so right now when I push the buttons, they just turn on whenever I press them, but we can, um, 
we can have them turn on slowly with, with the attack button. So when I press it, it takes a while for it to turn on. And then we can also change the decay, so it'll take a while for it to turn off. See that? So we can have a little bit of a... So this envelope can also be used to modify the uh, uh, the VCO and the VFO. We can change that over here. You can hear the frequency change a little bit when I let up. I was changing the, auto, the uh, PWM. Now I'm changing the frequency as I let up. All right, turn that off. And then I can also modify the uh, filter with the um, envelope generator. Let's see here. You can see the shape of the waveform change a little bit as I as I let it off. Oops. And uh then we can change one more thing. Let's see, let's turn these off. And that is that there's a glide. And that is when you play a note and you play another note. I'm gonna change the tack and the decay. They're just individual notes. And they immediately go to that note. If I change the glide, takes a while for it to get there. So that's what Glide does. All right, so we've seen some waveforms. That helps me understand what the thing is supposed to do. And um, that'll help me design my circuits. But uh, it's very informative to take a look at their schematics and then take a look at actual waveforms and try to figure out what's going on. So yeah, there you go.